In this video, I'm going to talk about what I learned after selling over 21,000 units or products on Amazon KDP. But first, don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell icon for further notifications. Link to my Facebook group and my free class with the opportunity to also check out my course is under this video. I must say that the year 2019 was very dynamic and very interesting. Um, and I can't believe that I actually sold over 21,000 units or produ products on Amazon KDP. Uh, I've learned uh, many, many things this year. And I think this year was the most productive year of my life. As you can see, the first three months of my business, which I kind of don't count as a no content book business, I was just blindly publishing these bullet journals um, and I couldn't get past 300 units in three months doing this full time. So this was uh, one lesson I learned that if it doesn't sell well, if all your units are selling like uh, Let's say you have 1,000 products on your bookshelf and uh, less than 10% of them are selling that you're probably doing something wrong. Uh, here I changed the approach and I was publishing uh, no content journals from this time onwards. And so I don't even <laughs> count these units I sold here. Maybe I should have. Uh, so that's another additional, I don't know, 600 units, 600 units plus. So what I've learned is that if it doesn't sell, don't continue. And in the beginning, you might make mistakes, which is absolutely normal as a beginner. So if you don't know what you're doing, you can invest into a course that it teaches you what to do. Back in the days, there was not much, uh, there were not that many courses about KDP. It was just me and my computer, so I had to rely on myself. I'm going to repeat this again. Don't focus on something that doesn't sell, that sells than, uh, less than 10%. It brings you more than 10% uh, profit just don't don't focus on it because it's a waste of your time like I did with bullet journals another thing I learned is uh, before you start just learn everything about trademark policies what you should publish and what you should not pu publish now when I look back and realize that uh, the first three months I had hundreds and hundreds of bullet journals on my bookshelves and they all said bullet journal in the title which was a trademark infringement i can't still believe that nobody did anything about that and i'm still here today because i used a trademark in my title and nothing really happened to me i'm glad uh, so i wish i wish i knew how to um how to investigate whether a word is a trademark and what I can use it on my uh, items on the KDP. Now I know bullet journal is, is trademarked because if I type, type bullet journal into a trademark electronic search system uh, on the uh, official uh, governmental site of the United States and I click on submit query, uh, I find this record here which is under IC16. Uh, everything under un IC16 can't be on your book covers. So I was totally infringing. I thought I wasn't infringing because I was using this software, uh, sorry, application, which was for t-shirts and it was telling me that I'm not infringing. <laughs> yeah, I was a beginner. I didn't know what I was doing. But now I'm telling you all this so you don't, you're not going to make the same mistake I made when I started. And the last thing that I learned is 
Uh, don't be scared to reinvest your money. This is what I didn't do as much as I wanted. I reinvest some of my money into um, some tools, paid tools, which extremely helped me to expand my business. But I didn't invest any money into like learning Amazon ads and um, things like that. So now if I uh, looking back if I started doing ads much earlier my profits would be much higher and what I want to tell you is that don't be scared don't be scared to invest into courses or into anything that helps you to expand and scale and also don't be scared to play with ads at least with automatic ads in the beginning and see if anything catches on fire well not catches on fire but will bring you more money into the business just by running simple automatic ads.